Okay, so today I'm going to go over um, very simply how to create one of these pages on your fan page so that you can have it look something like this. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to do is search in the search bar static HTML iframes and it has a little star icon so just click on that and you're actually gonna have to use it as your personal page you can't use it as your fan page but that's okay and now once you get on here it's going to ask you uh, which page you would like to use it with um, mine is already here but you're just going to click one I can click one again and then click add static HTML iframe to your tab Okay, so it has added it over here to um, this Facebook fan page that I have. Um, so actually what you can do is just click on it here to the left. And you're going to see that you have um, this app here. And now this is where you can put your content. It's going to have to be an HTML, but don't worry, we'll get to the HTML, how you can get some HTML coding and this box right here is actually for your fans only so until they become your fans this section will be blocked out which is an amazing feature here and then you can also click no scroll bars and this means that it's just going to keep everything without scroll bars so nobody has to scroll over to see what is on this page of your fan page so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a quick editor um, here that allows you to get some HTML coding. It is called Composer and actually what I will do is just type it right he down here. Just search for Composer um, right here and you can get this. Download this. It is free. And basically, it is an HTML editor. There's many out there that are free, so if you have one, that's great. You can also use your blog to do an editor for HTML. Now, for Facebook, you want to make sure that you have 520 pixels so that you get the right size. And then you can just create whatever you want. As long as you can use Word, you know you can use this. So just go ahead and create whatever you want. I'm doing a Live the Dream contest here. So I've started creating this and then you just click down here source. You come over here copy and you come over here and paste this and you can save and view tab and you can either view it as a non-fan or a fan. I haven't done any non-fan um, HTML coding in there so just view it as a fan. and. It looks like we're having a little bit of trouble with the image so let's go back over to here and we'll go back to the design click image here and it actually does need to be um, it can't be on your desktop that's the problem so what you can do to get an image URL is you can actually put it on your blog and then put it back over here. So what I can do very simply is go to just go to my blog Now if you don't have a blog, you can use any type of um, image software that will store your image. Um, all we need to do is go to media, add new, and browse here. We'll go to my desktop. And here's the image that I want. Upload it. Uh, view it. Oops. Actually, edit here. 
and you just go and get the URL and copy and bring up the editor here and actually put it in there. And then go source again. Now I'll copy it. And go back to your and change this HTML here. And now let's make sure it is there. There it is. So you can use your blog, which I use frequently. It makes it very easy. If you don't have a blog, you may use Photo Bucket, is a really great one that everybody use, uses. So this is how you can put together a free fan page very simply, um, can be done in less than 10 minutes.